Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a makeup declutter video with you guys. Um, I'm going to show you what I store my makeup in and then we're going to declutter together. I've been super into these videos lately, so it's inspired me to do it and now I want to film me doing it. So here we go. So this is what I keep my makeup in. I've already kind of started with these organizers. I got these organizers from the Dollar Tree. So I have about three drawers here and then I have this thing that I keep in my bathroom for everyday use which I'm going to declutter as well so this is kind of just what we're working with right now my little mini makeup I actually did declutter about a month ago I gave a lot to my mom and sister but I think there's room for me to declutter more so that's kind of why I'm doing it again so yeah and let's get into it Okay, so I'm kind of just going to go through these drawers first. So, like, you guys are going to be really close, but this first one is usually my foundations, which are right here, and then my primers. Um, so, and then I, I was storing in the back. I have, like, I got these two plastic things from work. When they were get, getting rid of a display, I asked to keep them. So that's why those are there and that's I kind of have like my setting powders back here and then over here like bronzers blushes and stuff but then I got these organizers like acrylic three things from um, the dollar store so I'm gonna try to do that but I'm gonna start with primers first and this is like sprays too urban decay all-nighter um, I'm going to keep this is brand new and I love this spray I just got this too a few weeks ago in California this is the milk hydro primer and I love this primer and then Too Faced Sweet Peach I have normal skin normal dry um, but I love this line and I got the little kit with the powder it's like $45 at Sephora right now the powder, these two, the primer, the spray, and a Better Than Sex mascara. Um, this I've had, I don't know when, this doesn't have when it expires on it. It probably did on the box. It's probably like 12 months. I've had this for a while. I got it in gratis at work and I love it. I just need to use it so I need to put it somewhere for me to use. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love it so I'm going to keep that. Um, this I like to use it as a primer and moisturizer, but I have the travel size that I got in a kit and I'm still not finished with this one. So I am going to declutter this. It's like three fourths of a way used. Um, but I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to give this to my sister. I have these two. I have the Mali Perfect Prep Neutralizing Primer. I got this when Mally was being discontinued in Ulta and I actually really like this primer because it's like a skin based skin color primer that like neutralizes everything I just need to use it more and I have the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion this is in 901 Fair Glow I think I'm gonna give this to my sister too with the primerizer I mean it's pretty used there's not that much in it I do like it but I have back strobe cream which is almost done and I like this one a little bit better this one's still good, but I'm going to declutter this one. And I'm keeping this one. We have the primer water. This is almost done. I got this in the little mini travel size set, but I'm just gonna keep this in. This is where like I have too many primers. I am have this new Tarte one and it smells really good. Really good. Um, It's like, I feel like it's like the Hangover RX, which I have. I'm gonna think about this one because I really do like it. I think I might keep it. I was gonna declutter it, but I think I'm gonna keep it because it's still new. I have, this is still pretty full, the Dewy Skin Primer Cover Effects. Oh, I like the gripping primer. I thought that this one was gonna be similar to the gripping primer, but it's like really greasy. I'm using I don't like it, so I'm gonna declutter it. I wanted to keep it to try to keep using it, but I still have the Hydro Grip Primer that actually gets sticky. 
So I am actually going to declutter this. And this one's almost done. This is one of my favorites. This is the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer Energize and Rescue by Pure. This one is so good. It smells like candy and I'm almost done with it, but I've been savoring it. I think I'm going to move it to my everyday use so that I get rid of it because it's almost done. It's on to foundation. This one I just bought. They were having a sale and I just bought this. It is the Tutti Fruity Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. I have sampled this and I do like it. This is in the shade Almond. This is my shade shade when I'm not self tanned which I am right now so I'm going to be keeping this it's new I've had this since I for a year now so this is almost done this is in the shade Yukon I bought this when I first like my before I even worked a day at Ulta and I got hired to use my discount I'm gonna keep it because it's almost done and then this is the Clinique super balanced silk makeup they don't sell this anymore it's in 03 silk bear this was being discontinued at my store I'm gonna keep it. It's still new. I do like it. Okay, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is one of my favorite, favorite foundations. I think it is so beautiful on the skin. And I am the shade NW13 without tanner. I'm getting rid of this. I love this foundation. I think it is so nice on the skin. The Amazonian Clay Foundation. Another one of my first purchases at Ulta. I don't really like this foundation unless I mix it with... I was mixing it with the NARS. When I mix it with the NARS, oh my gosh, it is so good. And everyone compliments my skin. So I think I'm going to keep this. And these two I just bought. Um, I just bought this for my self-tanner. I'm in the shade Natural Beige with self-tanner. It actually matches so well. I love this foundation. And I got this for, um, this is Almond, the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. And I can use this with this to highlight. It looks, it's like super intense, but I love it. And I love that I can use this when I'm not self tan. So I'm keeping both of these, just bought them, they're new. Now this one, um, I don't know why I thought it was this shade. It's looking a lot lighter on camera, but it's 203 nude beige i'm actually gonna declutter this because i'm just not gonna reach for it i have other foundation now these i don't know what to do with this is a smashbox vlada i literally only bought this because it was getting discontinued at ulta it was on clearance and um let me know if you guys want to know like my clearance shopping because i'm obsessed with clearance shopping at ulta or anything that's being discontinued i buy a shit ton of it but these are weird I don't use these I don't know who will use these I'm gonna put it off the side for right now and then I got this for gratis this is the flesh candle glow I feel like it's too deep for my skin tone I don't know if I could like put it over my body with self tanner let's see I just started self tanning and then I have this little sample of the derma blend glow creator so that's the flesh one like it's really I feel like I could put this on my self tanner but I just got something to put all over my body for my self tanner. Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep this one for clients, and then I think I'm gonna declutter the mini one. Okay, so that is one drawer right now. I did keep. I only decluttered two. These are all the primers and sprays that I kept, and I'm gonna go through powders really quick. But. I'm keeping these. I just got the Laura Mercier for the first time ever trying it. It is amazing. Keeping it, savoring it because it's expensive. And then I love this one too. This Perfect Peach. So keeping these and I'm kind of organizing them in this, this little organizer thing right here. Um, so those are staying. This is a baking powder for underneath your eyes have so many powders I really like this I like the press compact I'm gonna think about this one but I might declutter because I have two of the loose ones who needs that many powder I might I don't know I'm keeping the banana light because I do love that um this is a Ulta velvet blush that I got you can see the clearance tag I got on discount it is so pretty I'm keeping this like I love this on my skin keeping this powder this I got in gratis as well and it smells so good this is the tutti fruity by Too Faced the plum grater I need to put this in my everyday use because I was using it like every single day it is really intense but when you blend it out oh my gosh it is so pretty especially with this like super pink highlighter if you mix them together 
I'm definitely keeping this. And then this is the Smashbox Vlada highlighter, and this is in Petal Metal Gilded Rose. I'm gonna keep this. The packaging is super pretty. And then I have this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder. I really like it. It's been used a lot. I haven't used the puff in it, but I have so many other powders. Clutter it. I think I might keep this, but I might. I actually might. I think I'm gonna get. I don't know. I like to get rid of it. And then I have this Patrick Star Mac Bronzer Summer Collection. Give me life. I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And I'm gonna try to like organize this better and then this is the pretty vulgar blush in prime vixen it's like really bright it blends out really pretty though but i got this from my sister i think i'm i might keep it i don't have enough blushes i have like three right here and then i already i just donated some makeup bronzers blushes and powders to, to um a woman's shelter this is the sleek highlighting palette in solstice and it is so pretty my sister got me this for christmas and i love this thing i need to use it more but i was using it for a while like this cream is so blinding like that was just a little swatch so i am gonna keep this and then this is the makeup revolution banana light powder i bought these when they were buy one get one or buy two get one free that's when i got the press to the new press one and then they came out with new shades banana light and they have banana deep and this is lace i'm gonna keep both of these because i do enjoy them powders i decluttered are the revolution bacon blot this is fairly new too but the this is in lace i forgot to say and then the nyx matte this is in natural and then we're gonna go into our second drawer <laughs> This is where I keep, you can't really see, but there's like concealers in here and mascara and this little sample of the Bon Bon perfume, which is amazing. I'm keeping that. I'm going to put that up there though to put in my bathroom. And then I just got this thanks to my coworker um, for the VIB cell. This is the Huda Beauty Nymph and this is in Luna. I love this and I was displaying it in my bathroom. I'm probably going to keep displaying it, but yeah, this is brand new. I'm keeping this. I'm going to put it over there. It's a really good face primer too. This is where it gets a little tricky. So this is where I keep my concealers. Um, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I am not a fan of this mascara. Um, I think I might declutter it. I started to like it again. I might use it some more and then, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it because I literally just use mascara for putting on lashes so I'm gonna keep this this is the MAC studio fix um concealer and this is an NW15 I actually started to like this more I hated it it's almost done um I'm gonna keep it because now I'm starting to like it again so I'm gonna keep this I just bought this this is like one of my OG concealers this is the Maybelline fit me in 10 it is brand new not used and I'm keeping it because I will use it. I used to use this all the time. They're really old. A corrector in yellow. I have two of them. And it's like really yellow. Really yellow. I'll swatch it for you. But I don't really use it anymore. Because I don't know what yellow color corrector is for. It's like really yellow. Figure out what these are for. They're One's newer. This one's the older one. Um, my grandma sells Mary Kay and so she gave these to me. I wanted to clutter them, I just don't know who I want to give them to someone. Maybe I'll donate them because they're hardly used. It's just so yellow. I don't know. I'm gonna put those off to the side over here. I have the Clinique Acne Solution Clearing. Um, I'm gonna keep this because I do sometimes dot conceal i'm having really bad breakouts right now so i'm gonna keep this and then this is brand new the age rewind um i used it a while ago and i just repurchased um i feel like it goes really fast i've barely used it and like that much is gone but i'm gonna keep this one it's new and then this is the elf 16 hour cameo concealer and this is in medium peach I'm going to keep this. It's really good. It dries really fast, so you have to work with it quick. And then this is the Dream Lumi. I literally got these on clearance. There's one right here, too. I'm almost done using this one. This one is in my shade. This is in 10. 
is the dream lumi touch concealer by maybelline they went on clearance on my store they were literally like 50 cents or dollars something like that this one i use in my everyday to try to get rid of it and then this one is in medium i'm gonna try to contour with it because it's tart shape tape i've had this for a while it's not my favorite this is in light neutral I feel like it's way too drying. It's almost done though, so I'm just gonna keep it to finish it and then throw it away or keep it for my empties video. This is one of my favorite. This is the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealers and I have the shade Deep Ivory. It's actually really light, but I use it to like add a lot of brightness under my eye. And this is like a really good concealer and hydrating. Oh, it's so good. It feels so good under the eye. I'm gonna do this drawer next. Back here, you can't see it, but back here is like my eyeshadows, my brow pomades. This is a medium brown. And my everyday dark brown, I'm pretty sure I got this in gratis because I don't really use this anymore. Um, but it is still pretty full and I still have a new one that I got for Christmas for my cousin in dark brown. So I'm gonna keep these two. I feel like medium brown though is now my color because I have Anastasia pencils in medium brown and it looks so good. So I might give this one away. I might do a giveaway and put this in it. Yeah, I'm going to put this in a giveaway. And this I'm definitely putting in the giveaway. This is, I got this on clearance. I've never used it. I think I swatched it. So maybe the Tarte Top Yacht Chrome Paint. I literally got it because do you remember when James Charles would use it as a highlighter? Um, but yeah, I still have the little thing in here. I don't remember if I swatched it or not, but I'm putting this in a giveaway. And then I have the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows. So during holiday, they had the six-piece kit. I just need to use these. I love these. I'm not going to get rid of these, but then again, I don't know because I hardly use them. Like these ones are the glitter shadows, the gold, and then these are the liquid shadows. Holy crap, that one is so pretty. This is in Pigal, Pigali. This is so pretty, I'm keeping that one. This is in Kitten. This isn't the glitter though, this is the liquid eyeshadow. This one's pretty too. I might keep all of them, it's just I don't really reach for them. I think I need to put them in my everyday so that I use them. That one is Kitten. And then this one is Jazabelle, that like pinkish one. Yum. Yeah, yum, that yum. pinkish one. If my sister donated Jazabelle, it was the pinker one, and I'm gonna keep Pigale or Pigale and Kitten. And then I have Plum On. This is like really pretty. And I want to, might keep this one. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. Well, there might be a time. Maybe, I think I need to move these to like my everyday so that I actually use them. They're not just sitting there. And then I'm going to keep Diamond Dust because this one is like so pretty. And I'm definitely going to keep Kit. I think this is Kitten. Oh no, this is Smoky Storm. So Kitten I think has just always been a cream. I don't know why I thought it was a glitter. But this smoky storm is so freaking pretty. These in here. And then I have, I got this on clearance too. This is the Butter London Season Eye Gloss. I think I got rid of the, I had a gold one. I think I got rid of it. I might have gave it to my mom. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. I don't reach for it, but I think I'm going to put it where I can for like colorful looks. And then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. This is, the reason it's back here is because I have more brow pencils I'll show you in my everyday. And I'm saving this. Um, it's my perfect shade right now. So that's why I'm kind of going back and forth with the dip brow. But I am going to keep this. I don't know how I'm going to, I wish I, they had organizers that were like long ways. But I'm going to keep that here is where I keep all my eyelashes um, and liners. So I have not used these. I've had these for so long, but because I plan on putting them on my lower lash line at some point in my makeup career. So I'm gonna hold on to these. I just bought these and these are my favorite lashes. The Kiss Camisole Lashes. They are so 
lipstick. I'm keeping these. Love those. And then these are all my Cake Face Beauty lashes. I'm going to link them down below. Go show them some love. They're revamping. These, this was the first brand that ever like believed in me. Um, when I first started off my Instagram with just makeup looks, they I won a Halloween contest with me and they sent me lashes. They're revamping their whole lash thing. I don't know if these styles are still on sale for $4, but I have two pairs of Queen lashes. I might give one away in the giveaway. Um, yeah, I think I might give one away in the giveaway. I love these lashes though, so I don't know. And then, <clears throat> this is disgusting, but this is the Sweetie 3 pack. This box is like damaged, but my lash case is full, which I'll show you guys in a second. So I'm gonna keep my used Queen lashes. And I'm going to try to put them in here. I don't know how much it's going to work. I have more lashes in a lash case. And then I have more in my everyday over here. Which I'm going to show in a second when we declutter that. But yeah. These are like all my lipsticks. I decluttered my lipsticks a, literally like a month ago. I gave my mom a bunch. I don't think I'm going to get rid of a lot of these. But I do want to organize them better. Um, and then I'm going to remove this thing. This thing again was a display at my work that they were going to throw away. And it was for like makeup bags and purses. This is the MAC Patrick Star Lip Gloss and Cream Pie. I decluttered the other one that came with this that was more warm. Um, so I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this too. This is the MAC Peach Flush Versicolor Varnish. It's like a lip stain. And it is so pretty and perfect for summer right now. It's like that peachy color. Super pretty. So I'm going to keep that. A lot of these I am going to keep. And then I have like a MAC, I have like a MAC single shadow and this is from, um, this is See the Future. This is their like C Sheen, whatever. This one's really pretty, but I'm going to keep this too. It's like a really pretty light pink. You can barely see it right there, but yeah, I'm going to keep this a MAC. This is kind of sexy. This is my first ever MAC lip purchase with Diva. I purchased Diva too and it is just like a staple i'm gonna keep it super pretty and then i have two more mac lip glosses that i'm gonna keep this one is scarcely seen i don't even know if they sell this anymore but it's super pretty and sparkly i don't know if you guys can see that yeah it's like really pretty so and they feel really nice they're not like super sticky i'm gonna keep that and then this one is in best teddy that was with the sea sheen line i don't know if they still sell it but it is that one right there it's very pretty and this is lady be good really pretty matte retro matte from mac i'm gonna keep this too it might just be my mac section and then i have the mac viva glam i'm gonna take it out of the box it is so pretty this is the viva glam one they redid it this year and this is it is like so pretty the packaging uh and i really like this color on me i've tested it at work so i am gonna keep this one okay so these are ones that i'm gonna go through right now i still have more mac to go so this is the mac boom boom bloom and this is in glam boys moy and that's what she looks like and i've worn this like twice but i need to start wearing them more so i am gonna keep it and then I have this Morphe liquid lip. Does anyone remember the original pack packaging with Morphe? This is in brunch. And when I went to a meet and greet with Jeffree Star, this was free and like the goodie bag if you spent so much money. And it's like really pretty. I Dose of Colors is by far my favorite liquid lip formula. I do need to buy more, but like this is my favorite. I got this for Christmas from my boyfriend and... I'm obsessed so the reason they're in here is because I want to savor them but I was wearing warm and fuzzy like it's green dotted which means like I was taking it to work okay, so I'm gonna keep those I'm mostly keeping this for like package and like memory sake I have Anastasia liquid lips so Anastasia liquid lips like I'm like trying so hard to be on the pure list but I just feel like these crack and dry so much like they're so pretty but like I don't know why they break off my lips like if I need to these are like I kept this one for eyeshadow for sure but these ugh. like I gave all the red ones to my sister I don't know I'm gonna keep them and see if like I exfoliate my lips 
if it'll work better and I'll probably I'm going to put these three in my like need everyday ones so that I get use out of them this I just bought this is the lip injection glossy and this is in Let's Flamingle. These were at TJ Maxx and it works really well. Like really, really well. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is Mally. You can't get this one anymore. This is Slay Queen and it is lip gloss and it is so pretty, but it's like, but it's like a baby pink. I don't really have a baby pink lip gloss. So it's not like bright baby pink, it's muted. But anyways, I'm keeping that one for sure. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna wander around. Here's after we did eyelashes. Some of these are like new. Move lips aside because I've kind of organized that. And this, um, when I first worked at Ulta, this is dried out. I am going to throw this away. The bad gal bang i do like it it's just a dried out sample this i got because it was like 40 cents um and it's still good it just like does irritate my eyes i'm gonna keep it i just bought this this is the nyx white liquid liner for eye look so i'm keeping that these um l'oreal infallible paints i bought because they were once again on clearance for my work so they were literally like 40 cents each and this one I don't know if you can get them anymore, but I have Intrepid Teal, Electric Blue, and Wild Green. I think I'm going to get rid of the Wild Green one because I do have this Kat Von D Bukowski liquid liner, which is like a deep green. I'll swatch them next to each other, but that's the Kat Von D one. Oh, that one's brighter though. Well, I need to... I'm, I'm going to keep them for like artsy looks. I might... You just never know. I might need them. And their sharpness so I'm gonna keep those okay, so these things I'm going to declutter these are this is mosh pit these are the Ulta Beauty metallic eyeliners they're pretty I just don't um, I'm gonna keep gold because I think the gold one will go with like green looks and stuff so I'm gonna keep the gold one and I'm gonna donate these two mosh pit and shred okay this is brand new i think this is green too this is twinkle black so it's like a sparkly black once again clearance at my work they were like 30 cents and i'm gonna keep this because it's super pretty that would look really pretty in the waterline i just need to put these like where i'm going to use them this is a nude one so like they're really pretty i'm gonna keep them so this is glitter glue by hard candy it says six months I'm gonna smell it really quick okay it still smells good I'm gonna keep this for that glitter and you just never know when you might need glitter glue um, because I feel like eventually I will need to use some of these liners hopefully next time I can just declutter them but I feel like there's gonna be a look at some point in my near future that I'm going to need these so I'm gonna put these with the lashes last drawer which is my palettes to be honest, I do not think I'm going to declutter any of this because I just decluttered palettes. So like this is the drawer, the palette drawer right now that we're in. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of this. I have switched around all of my palettes, like with my everyday one, to see, like to use some. So this is the MAC Holiday MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact and Fair. I use this in a video, um, I'll link it down below, a full face of MAC. I love this thing and I'm not going to get rid of it. The only thing that sucks is that this unglued. Yeah, I'm not going to get rid of this. NYX Ultimate. I love this palette. I just feel like for Halloween and stuff. I know it's only summer, but it is a really good palette. I'm going to keep it because I got this before I could get the James Charles palette. And I did a video, I'll link that down below, comparing this with the James Charles palette. So if you're like really hating on James Charles now you can get this one I think they're really similar I did the exact same look so I'll link that down below but I'm gonna keep it okay so once upon a time I want to give away Morphe sent me all their lashes I don't know if they sell their lashes anymore but this is the lash book a lot of these are Morphe lashes these ones are MAC lashes and I don't know the names anymore these are actually Violet Voss lashes too right here fucking wearing them to be honest 
um, because I don't wear them enough. So I think I'm going to move this closer so that I can get, wear these and savor my other lashes. And then this, I'm keeping Jaclyn Hill X Morphe. It is one of the best palettes. My son got into this, so that one, like, all smeared across. But I haven't used this in a while either. I feel like I need to use this. Is the BH Cosmetics. They were the first brand that I purchased. I have two more of their palettes. They're under my bathroom sink because I saved them for Halloween. This is the 10 color professional blush palette. And I have had this for a very long time. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I love this thing. I am keeping it for freelance. My Morphe Z palette. And this is what she looks like. So there was three highlighters in here. I don't know what happened to the fourth. I mean, there was four. I don't know what happened to the fourth one. These are the Anastasia highlighters in Hard Candy. This is the Glow Kit. Mimosa. I think this was the Gleam Glow Kit in Starburst. She doesn't sell this anymore, so I'm keeping this palette and everything in it. I love those highlighters. Okay, and then this is Morphe Brushes 35D. I got this for Christmas years ago. I'm keeping it um, for smoky eye looks, Halloween, all that stuff. And because, once again, another purchase that was for Christmas for me um, by my boyfriend. Really sweet. And it just, they mean things to me. Especially in the original Morphe packaging. Like, come on. And then I have the Makeup Geek X Manny. Um, it's funny because my sister got this and she loved it. Then she lost hers. I gave it to her. Then I asked for it back because sentimental reasons and to like collect like this is a collector side of me but yeah I love this thing I move this thing closer to get some more use out of it too okay James Charles palette you all are freaking out about this I'm keeping it I'm not going to destroy it or do any of that because I think it's a really good palette regardless of what you all think of him and I love this palette I think he did so well so yeah I'm keeping it I think it's really good fun and fresh this is the hyper real glow i'm keeping this this is from mac i love it this is in get lit i used it also in my full face of mac and oh these are so pretty and they don't they like blend into the skin they don't sit on top of it so this i got in gratis as well 35 i depotted my other one this is the new one with like the new packaging this is literally brand freaking new and I like want to keep it but I kind of I just want to give it to someone else who's going to use it because this was like a huge everyone freaked out about this palette and this is the one with like the shade names like I've literally never used this I don't think I'm ever going to use it um I just have too many similar shades. So I am going to put this in the giveaway too. It's not going to be a big giveaway, but I am going to give this away as well. Okay, and then the last two palettes. One is e.l.f. This, my cousin sent me when we got in touch again, and I love her so much. And it is such a good palette. She sent me a bunch of e.l.f. stuff. I don't know what happened to all the other stuff. But this is made for matte too. I freaking love this palette. It is so good. This I got during Halloween time. It is the Wet n Wild Paint Palette. It was the brights and it's limited edition and it's really good and pigmented and stuff and I can use it for artist looks so I'm going to keep that. That's it for these three drawers. So I'm going to move the camera so you can see how I'm going to organize it and clean it and stuff. Okay, so that's like, this is going to be so long, but that's like it for right now because like these aren't going to fit in my little situation I got going on now. I'm trying to make it like more organized and not these big bulky things. But I can't, like, I don't have ones to, like, lay these down yet. So that's what it looks like now. And that's what this looks like now, which this looks so much better than just, like, on top of each other. They're all, like, organized. I think I might put my lashes in the back, like, switch those two. But. And then, yeah, those are the palettes. Everything kind of stayed the same. But now I have to do this, which is my everyday complete disaster stuff we're gonna do that now so i pretty much kept everything in my everyday here's the giveaway you're gonna hear my son in the background of this but this is what i am giving away i will send this to somebody um yeah <laughs> i have queen lashes from cake face beauty i have the morphe 35o 
and then the Tarte Chrome Paint in Top Yacht, and then Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. So I'm going to give this away to one lucky winner, and all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and leave me a comment down below. Go ahead and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see who wins.